Hi, I'm Alex Paul with AspenCore Media, and I'm here with Derek Lin from Windbond. Hi, Derek. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and, uh, well, we're here at a memory company, and we've got memory demonstrators. Yeah. Now, industrial internet, industrial internet of things, yeah. advanced automation, automotive, there's a yeah. lot of things going on in this and, space. And partly for wearable, for IoT use. Yeah. Also. So, those are challenges for the memory designer, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, especially for battery-based solutions, sometimes for IoT, for wearable, they have only uh, tiny space for battery uh, storage. So we have to try to save their power. Yeah. So when uh, very often those uh, wearable product in standby mode, uh, we have some uh, good solution uh, to have uh, so-called uh, in deep self refresh to keep the minimum data uh, with minimum uh, power consumption. Yeah, so the battery life can sustain longer. Yeah. Now I see something here. It looks like you got a, a meter hooked up to a device, yeah, is, and this yeah. is a live demo of the power, huh? Yeah, yeah. This, this is our two five six megabit low power DDR one, and this uh, the, our chip is on board here. So you can see, uh, it, this is normal operation, maybe ten mini amp. But when you get into standby, if you have just you keep just the one quarter of the data inside, you can see. It's, uh, it, it's only 20 something microamp. 0.02. Yeah, that's a, o almost a half of our regular case. Okay, in regular case, it, it, it's it, point four, uh, point oh four five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's about four, 40 something microamp. But in just that we show you that uh, when we have this deep, so called deep self refresh, you just consume almost 50% of the power. So we can save more power for more battery life. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, we still have new solution based on Arcto IO uh, pseudo HRAM uh, to save the pin count for SOC control. So uh, we are already engaged with, with some uh, solution vendor. Uh, they, they have solution for uh, uh, consumer use, for industrial use, and for automotive use in some simple cluster uh, uh, application. Yeah. Very good, very good. Now, um, are there any specific aspects of this that you'd like to bring out to our audience? Um, application advan advantages or performance advantages in these kits? Yeah, uh, for this case, the best case is uh, we only have eight, eight I.O. for uh, lower speed operation. If you need the uh, SRAM, we, we need the DRAM or SRAM, uh, we love a very high speed uh, data bandwidth, but you you can save your pin count. With, with I/O, we total just need a 13 pin. Compared to other DRAM, maybe you need a, a 50, 60, even 100 pin I/O. So the pin count is very uh, saving. Uh, well, and I mean that's a significant board saving because the more pins, the more you got to worry about your board spinning. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, that's it. So our our purpose is try to uh, provide some solution for lower power and for easy uh, microcontroller con uh, control to save their power control and uh, pin counts and control because some application is very simple. It cannot afford to support too many I/O for DRAM use. Yeah. Very nice. Was yeah. oh, there anything else you wanted to leave with our audience before I let you go today? Uh, so this Arcto I.O. Uh, product is mainly for, uh, it's a new trend, uh, in, especially for IoT use. And sometimes uh, it's a surprise we can find an uh, opportunity in industry and uh, automotive. Uh, so we are keep promotion uh, our list solution. So if any uh, solution vendor like SOC company, you are interested, uh, please come to us, then we can have further discussion to introduce uh, this good solution into the market. Excellent. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye -bye.